it going, everyone? Okay, so I got a special treat for you guys today. I got my good friend Kevin. So Hi. Most of you, you, you want <laughs> you, you want to actually tell everybody you know your your channel name too. Uh, my channel is my name, Kevin Getson. I do a lot of gaming stuff in general, kind of more gaming lifestyle. So lots of fun retro history stuff, accessories, all that stuff. Yeah. So Kevin's a really good friend of mine. He's been coming for quite a while since started Pixel Ball. Uh, and Kevin's got some pretty cool stuff he wanted to uh, sell, trade. Yes. I, I'm normally a terrible hoarder, so this doesn't happen very often, but uh, I got a hold of a cleaner Super Nintendo, so it was time to get rid of the older one, even though there's a little sentimental, but you know. I nice. get you. The new one's cleaner and really nice. So, I get you. You know, one to bring this on over. Nice, okay, so he's, he brought this right here, the Game Zool for the Super Nintendo. Uh, underrated game, it also came out for Sega Game Gear. And uh, let's check this out, right? So, assume everything's complete. Yes. Cool, man. You got a cleaner one than this, Kevin? It's really good. Okay, so <laughs> he said he got a cleaner one than this, so that's pretty good. Okay. So then we got the stuff. In. Everything's cool, man. Yep. Cool, man. It's super Nintendo. Nice. Uh, I always like to have these in stock. Uh, so yeah, you wanted to sell, trade, Kevin? What is it you wanted, man? Trade. You always sell. Well, just put it on my tab. All right, so Kevin's got a pretty good, uh, so I want to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, he's done some uh, cool YouTube stuff, very informative uh, uh, videos about the retro, and then about the new stuff, the Switch, very informative, man. I, I gotta say, my daughter's a big fan of your channel, man, so. It's true, I remember when I, when I met her the other day, she just said my full name, and I was like, that's how you know me, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, and that's one of the cool things, you guys should definitely watch this channel. So, me and Kevin are gonna get a chance to negotiate what we can do about this, and uh, so after this, I'm sure you guys All right, how's it going, everyone? So, I'm here with Russell today. Russell, say hi to everybody. What's up, everybody? Uh, Russell, come on, man, I, I need to give you a quick shout out on that. Russell finds all this quick, good stuff. All th I don't know how he does it, but he finds it. Uh, I just hunt all the time. So that's, that's my life now. That's what you do. That's all I do is hunt. So he brought me some amazing stuff. Uh, I want to get through everything that's here. He brought a, uh, a lot of N64s that I actually need. He actually brought a PlayStation, a Dreamcast, a lot of good games right here. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Like I said, I don't know how you do it, Russell. Just, uh, it's, it's persistence. A lot of people are, you know, the same way. They're like, how do you do it? I'm just always out there. You're always out there. That's that's what I like, man. You always bring some crazy good stuff. Um, and it's like I have more at home. Just, you know, and not only that, you, you you know you know what I like about you, Russell. And 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 I want everybody to know. And I'm gonna say it on camera. Say it. Russell gives the best deals out there when we do the events. He always gives everybody a really good deal. So, uh, and I always pass down the deals to everybody else. So there we go, man. So me and Russell are gonna get to uh, a little bit of the negotiation part. Once all this is available, I will post it on the Instagram page. So that way all you guys get a chance to uh, let me know if you guys need it, if not. And also I will put Russell's info so that way you guys can contact him if you guys ever see anything that he posts out there on, on his videos. So, you know, a lot of crazy stuff. Right? I find it all, so I mean, you know, just get a hold of uh, Mondo and he can let me know what you guys need and I'll find it, so. Yeah, awesome, man. So you want to tell everybody a quick, see you guys later. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. How's it going, everyone? Um, so today I got my buddy, Armando, came back and he brought some pretty interesting stuff. So this is actually something that's still fairly new to me, so we're gonna kind of go together with it. Uh, so it's a Super Famicom, basically what it is. Um, well, you want to explain it, Armando? Yeah. So I introduced uh, Armando again. This is Armando Cornejo. Uh, he helps me out here at the store a lot, you know, with uh, sometimes little things outside or even my security stuff all the time, the security cameras, which is pretty convenient, cool thing that he does. Um, so, Armando, you want to explain to the people what this is? Yeah. So I got two different devices here. Um, I picked this up from Japan. Um, we have to, this, this device here does two things. This actually can copy uh, Super Nintendo, Famicom, uh, Super Famicom, I'm sorry, and Genesis games. There's a little port there at the, um, where you can input your, input your cartridge at the bottom. 
there's supposed to be some adapters that go in here. That's how you actually get it to go on the system. Unfortunately, it didn't have the adapters when I, when I purchased it. They did say it worked, it just it didn't, it didn't come with it. This one is fully functional. Uh, I've been able to copy and, and play games. And, you know, you just like, I erased it and started again. Yeah. Uh, I got, what, I think, Mario Paint there for you. Uh, just to check it out. Okay. Uh, this is really nice condition. It's really clean. Um, it has the power adapter and everything. Fully functional. I really dig it. And then we have a, a, a Super Femcom that I'm also bringing. So it's all together, a little bundle and stuff. So, so you gotta grab that with these. Fix it. There we go. So let's see what it is. So here's where basically it's kind of like a Super Femcom cartridge. And a lot of people might not know what this is, but they're floppies. <laughs> this is the old memory cards from back in the day. Um, so it basically had like a uh, magnetic strip on the inside. Uh, and that's where all your information were to get written. Kind of like a, like, a, like a disc, right? What is this? Yeah. Well, and then there's that slot for Super Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Nice and clean, huh? Yeah, man. You know, yeah. we brought this from Japan. Uh, it's kind of a nice little find. Something you know, I just ran into in one of those back alleys uh, in, in Akihabara, where all the where all, where all the electronic stuff is at. Uh, yeah, so I brought it over. Yeah, I have not yet to go there. So man, that's yeah, that's gotta go. I know. I know you were telling me about that last time when you came down. Dude, I know. I'm ice. I really want to go just to experience the food and all that. But anyway, all right. So, um, Mondo, uh, I know that we got all this, but uh, last time uh, you traded some stuff, I was calling for a... Uh, yeah, we got a Vectrum. Vectrum. For a Vectrum. 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 Um, was there anything that you needed? You wanted to sell it, to trade it? You know what? I was, I, except that when I walked in, something immediately caught my eye, man. You know, I'm starting to get into arcades. And I saw that you got an arcade stick over there, man. Um, maybe we can work on something where we can, uh, you know, yeah. work something out. Okay, all right. Yeah, we can totally work something out, man. So, so yeah, uh, me and Mondo are gonna work this out. Um, once we, if I get it, you know, everybody knows, I'll post it and then uh, we'll, you know, shoot it and give a little bit more information about it. But yeah, uh, Mondo, once we come to a little deal, then, then yeah, man. Yes, cool. Be available for your customers, and uh, yeah. there's something else. And hopefully next time we yeah, because it's something. So basically, this is kind of like uh, bootlegging, or well, you know, copy. I've never done it before, but if let's say you went into the internet and downloaded some ROM for the for the Super Famicom or for the Super Nintendo, you can save them onto the disc and play it. That's kind of what we're for a better is. idea. If there was still video stores around. You know, you were just I, go I would, I would never game. do that personally, but yeah, people. You will rent the game. Would do that. Yeah, you will rent the game. You put the cartridge here at the top. So let's just say, for example, you have Mario Kart. You put your Mario Kart. You put your disc in there, and then you turn it on. You turn and then it on. You go through all the, it actually has like a little menu, so it boots up into a menu, and then you you select you'll select what you want, what you're gonna do. If you have games already in there, it'll show you your games and stuff. Yeah. Like it is really neat. It's one of those things that you know, you know, nowadays you pay about what 100, 150 bucks for those little yeah. those those the, where you put your little memory card into a cartridge, or you can you can do it on the computer. This is what we used to have back in the day. Uh, so this was expensive back in the day because I mean, oh, dude, you could play any game. If you knew, especially if you knew somebody that had all the games in the world, you know, all you have to do is stop by and say, "Can I borrow some?" and put them into your system, and there you go. You got it's all. Kind of jacked up, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So, so anyway, guys. All right. So me and Mom are gonna get a little neat and greedy about it, and then uh, I'll post it once it's up. So, so yeah, guys. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone. So here it is. All the cool stuff that came in today was actually, um, it was a lot of N64s that I actually needed for uh, from Russell. So he pulled through and he brought in the stock. And then he also brought me a Sega 32X. Now if you guys don't know what it is, it's a Sega 32-bit console that actually was before the Sega Saturn. So the Sega Saturn was per uh, actually the same thing. The only thing the 32X is actually a cartridge base. So, and also too, here's what uh, my buddy Armando brought. So this is a, basically, 
It's for the Nintendo and the, I mean, Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. So you put your cartridge on the top slot, and then there should be some adapters that, that'll go into the console, and then you put in these floppy disks, and then you're able to write that game that you actually have. Like for example, at the time, maybe if you rented the game, now there's that stuff. So then um, we do have also too the Sega Dreamcast that also brought too. Now it was a little bit yellow, so I took it apart. So what I am gonna do is see, there's a uh, that's white and it's yellow. So what I am gonna do is actually whiten it up so that way it looks just like the other ones that we have here on display. And let me show you guys this. So. Recently I made some other custom consoles. If you guys are following on the Instagram, you guys will probably see the other stuff I've got. All right, so there it is. So that way if you guys can see, there's a black light right here. Now it does glow in the dark on the black light. All you have to do is also just charge it up during direct sunlight or any type of light and it'll basically light up once it's completely dark. And then it's got two tones. It's got a black and also gold and gold at the top and everything here. All the designs are all done by hand. Now let me show you guys also what else came in. So, there's that X Arcade that's up for sale too. And then there is, for example, um, other cool stuff that came in, uh, like the N64, things like that. So we're all fully stocked on those. And so yeah, there you guys have it. Make sure you guys also leave a like and he subscribe on, for example, the Instagram uh, and also on the YouTube page. So that way you guys could actually get a chance to win this. I'm actually giving it away. So all you guys have to do is just leave a comment on this video. Leave a comment, positive comment, or just a, a name. And I will actually uh, take note of everybody who is actually on there. So that way, you know, I could get all of you guys you know, written down somehow, and then I will actually make a raffle so that way you guys can win. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will actually make a video of the winner. So thanks again, guys, and uh, hope to see you guys soon.